voice of disappointment Blake Shelton, a coach on The Voice, criticizes Kelly Clarkson and claims that she made the meanest action he has ever seen on the program. Kelly Clarkson has come under fire from The Voice coach Blake Shelton for making a statement during the singing contest. On Monday night's episode of The Voice, viewers saw the battles, in which two partners compete against one another to determine which contestant moves on. Ollie and Dee, smooth, two teammates on Kelly's team, sang unaware by Alan Stone in competition. The 40-year-old American Idol star struggled to choose the winner of the round but chose the deaf singer Ollie in the end. Since Ollie prevailed, D. Smooth was available for another judge to take. Chance almost immediately informing the crowd that he was prepared to kidnap D. Smooth, the rapper hit his button. But Kelly was planning something. She made the choice to use D. Smooth's playoff pass, which immediately moved him into the playoffs round. You could want to collaborate with him, but I just don't care, man, Kelly said to Chance. Such as, I love you. D. Smooth was informed by her that he possessed the gift to make it all the way to the finals. Kelly provided an explanation for her decision to utilize the pass, saying, I had to use my playoff pass on D. Smooth because I simply want him to advance. He's hungry for it, y'all, and I want to see him in the playoffs and what he's going to do. He is interested. Kelly using her playoff pass wasn't a surprise to Chance, who said, This is the second time I've tried to steal, but I 100% knew in my bones that she was going to use her playoff pass then. Kelly's move was deemed amazing by first-time judge Niall Horan. On the other hand, Blake remarked that it was one of the meanest things he had ever witnessed on the singing competition program. Tense on the set, after Reba McIntyre interfered in Kelly's personal life during a recent episode of The Voice, Kelly lost her patience with the mentor. The tension between Kelly and Reba, 68, that exists behind the scenes of The Voice began when Reba interjected herself into Kelly's marriage to her ex-husband Brandon Blackstock. Although having divorced Brandon, 46, in 2022, Reba reportedly begged that Kelly take him back. According to Radar Online, Reba doesn't seem to be able to believe that Kelly and Brandon, the celebrity's stepson, are indeed done dating. Because he wants Kelly and Brandon to get back together, the country musician is pressing for the couple to patch up their marriage. Her relationship with the talk show presenter, however, has started to suffer because of her perseverance. According to a person who spoke to the publication, they have to play nice for the cameras, but things are incredibly tense between them. Reba believes Kelly should give Brandon his old job back, which has severely irked Kelly. Reba may mean well, but her interference is more detrimental than helpful than good, especially since an informant claimed that Kelly and Brandon had no possibility of reconciling, rendering Reba's efforts pointless. The Reba alum has a delusional hope, a source told the news organization, that Kelly and Brandon would mend their relationship. Reba thinks the two children of Kelly and Brandon, River, 8, and Remington, 6, would fare better if their parents reconciled. Reba has the naive belief that things between Kelly and Brandon can be resolved. It would be better for the kids, she believes Radar was informed by the insider. Kelly won't stand for it. Reba ought to quit the voice, in her opinion. Everyone is concerned that the tension will be captured on video when it is about to explode. Blake previously declared that season 23 of The Voice would be his last in October 2022. From the show's debut in 2011, he has been the final coach to appear on every episode. In a statement, Blake stated, After much deliberation, I've decided that it's time for me to leave The Voice after season 23. This show has improved every aspect of my life, and it will always seem like home to me. During these 12 years of chair turns, it's been a heck of a ride. I want to thank everyone at The Voice from NBC, every producer, the authors, musicians, staff, and caterers. You are the greatest. He went on, a live show twice a week requires a lot of effort, enthusiasm, and alcoholic beverages. Over the years, I've developed lifetime friendships with Carson and each and every one of my fellow coaches, including my wife, Gwen Stefani. In July 2021, Blake and Gwen were united in marriage.